What's up guys, it's Camo Kez. Today we're gonna to be talking about spirit guides. All right, I gotta give a shout out to one of the subscribers, this one right here, who suggested this video idea. He wants to know more about spirit guides and how to connect to them. So that's what we're doing in this video. Over the past several years, I've had a lot of experience with my spirit guides and other people's guides, but in this video, I'm just gonna briefly go over what spirit guides are, spirit animals, and all things animism and all those other topics. First, let's talk about the common definition of a spirit guide. A spirit guide in Western spiritualism is an entity that remains as a disincarnate spirit to act as a guide or protector to a living incarnate human being. Now, of course, this can be beings that have previously been human, and will talk about that a little bit later. I actually think that my spirit guides in general are just people who have gone through the life cycles enough, they've reincarnated so much that they no longer need to. The concept of spirit animals draws its origin from ancient animistic and totemistic beliefs about the world and our connection to it. And for just a little bit more detail on what animism is and what totemism is, here you go. Totemism is a system of belief practiced by the Native American Indians and the Australian Aboriginal people, for example, and it incorporates the notion that each human being has a spiritual connection to another physical being. Animism falls sort of along the same vein, but is just a little bit different. Animism is more a worldview held by many Buddhist, Shinto, Pagan, and Neo-Pagan groups of people that holds the belief that all plants, animals, and objects have spirits. So now that we have a general idea of what spirit guides are, how do you connect to them? Well, personally, there are many, 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 many methods to connect to spirit guides, and I've used quite a few myself. If you've gone onto a YouTube video and typed in spirit guide connection guided meditation or something to that effect, you have used one of those methods unbeknownst to you perhaps. In my personal life, I have used sigils, I have used summoning circles, I've used invocation, evocation. I've had other people connect and try to draw my spirit guides to me. I've actually seen a psychic who channeled my uh, angel and other spirit guides and got information for me. And on a more personal level, I have done it through the use of astral projection. I mean, you guys expect anything different. Like this is what this channel is about. I'm gonna give you two methods. I'm gonna give you my astral projection method to connect to your spirit guides and spirit animals, and I'm gonna give you a meditation technique that I personally use that is very effective. The meditation technique is rather simple and relies solely upon intention, setting a space, and inviting your spirit guides to come and speak to you. For this, you will need to be able to cleanse your mind to some degree. You don't have to have total absent thought and be like, an empty void in your mind, although there is something called void meditation, but you do need to be able to control your thoughts and focus on one intention. At this point, I'll assume you guys know how to meditate, so I'm gonna skip past the just simple meditation how-to area, because I've got like two or three videos on my channel already about how to meditate and the best methods for you. Once you've gotten yourself comfortable, you're in your meditative space, you're in a trance state, what I want you to do from there is set an intention. In that meditative state, I want you to say in your mind or out loud, whichever you prefer, that you wanna to connect to your spirit guides, that you are open to interaction and visitation from angelic and non-physical entities. Now, this is very important. You also, at the same time, wanna set a space that is sacred. So just setting an imaginary circle in your mind and then say to yourself, nothing negative will enter this space. It's important that you do that because like a Ouija board, when you're trying to connect to entities that are non-corporeal and that are outside yourself, you tend to get a lot of riffraff. I'm not saying be afraid, I'm just saying take precautions. I mean, you wouldn't come into your house and not lock the door. I mean, what? I mean, it depends on what neighborhood. I, I wouldn't do it. After you've set your intentions, simply just sit and observe what happens. Try to limit your expectation for what happens because when you do that, you tend to shine a light in a direction where you may be missing something else. So just stay broad and stay open. If you hear things, listen to them, respond in your mind. If you see things in your mind's eye, welcome that, foster it. But if nothing happens, that's fine. You may not be ready to connect to your spirit guides or they may have something else planned for you. 
Do not be discouraged. It is also possible to connect your spirit guides or higher beings through signs like numerology, signs in your dreams, and just odd things that people do. One of the ways that my guys communicate with me is by having people do particular things in public. And they're very strange things <laughs> that if I see someone doing that, I'll be like, all right, I need to pay attention because this is something serious happening right now. And as for the second technique, it's a little bit more difficult, reasonably. If you're having trouble astral projecting, you will have to stick to the first method because obviously you can't astral project to meet your spirit guides, but it's a cool technique nonetheless. I don't want to get into how to astral project in this video specifically because basically every video on my channel is about that. So you can watch any number of the videos on my channel or you could just message me directly for help. Once you've gotten to a place where you're ready to separate and astral project, move away from your body as quickly as possible so that you're not sucked back into it. It's happened to me too many times and is responsible for why a lot of people's projections don't last long you're gonna to want to set that intention out loud this time in the astral realm you're gonna to want to say to your spirit guides hey I want to interact with you or if you know them by name if possible call them by name or just say hey I want to meet my spirit guides and oftentimes they will come to you or someone will meet you in the astral I've had that happen to me a number of times or I've met someone in the astral and I've talked to them and they're like hey I'm your spirit guide what do you want like let's chat my spirit guides are I don't know <laughs> I must be annoying or something because they <laughs> I call them and they're like god this guy again what do you want <laughs> yours probably won't be like that I don't know I'm I'm, I'm pretty I'm pretty annoying sometimes I guess I, I don't know. and that's gonna do it for this video guys I hope that information was useful thank you so much for the suggestion if you need any help you can find me in the comments you can find me on my discord or you can message me on my website I will reply to you that's all I do, I, just, I, I reply to people. <laughs> Be sure to leave your video suggestions in the comment section below. And I've got a number of videos on my channel helping people astral project. I've got a whole masterclass series that's completely free on this channel because I just wanna get the information out there. I value this community. I'm glad to see that it's growing pretty quickly actually. And I just, it's just a really cool time to be human. I mean, it's, it's a crazy time to be human. I, I don't know what I'm talking about. It's, it's a crazy time. <laughs> Good luck, guys. And as always, never stop adventuring.